Hi everyone! Welcome to Tea Talk with Ayumi. Brewing financial conversations one sip at a time. And for today's video, I share ko sa inyo ang five ways on how to invest sa real estate. So number one, we have the residential rental properties. So these are properties that are single family homes or apartment complex or multifamily units. So for example, you have an allotted money para mag-invest sa real estate and for example, meron kayong lupa, pwede nyong patayuan ng single family home or a building with multiple units and iparent nyo. So, you will be earning monthly rental payments from your renters. So, it's a really good income generating investment. It's stable as well. Of course, kasi maraming naghahanap ng marerentahan ngayon. And also, depende din yun sa location kung saan nakalocate ang inyong property. The more na mas malapit siya sa mga establishments, the better. Number two, commercial real estate. So, commercial real estate refers to properties that are meant for business or any income generating instead of a residential property. So, ito yung mga property na ginagawang office space or restaurants or any business na ginagamit for that specific space. Top three or number three, real estate investment trust or what we call usually as REITs. It's R-E-I-T. These are companies that own, operate, or finance income-generating real estate across various sectors such as residential, commercial, retail, hospitality, industrial, and healthcare. So REITs are structured as corporations or trusts and are designed to provide investors with a way to invest into real estate without directly owning physical properties. Top four or number four, fix and flip properties. So if you guys are familiar with mga pag-ibig forecloses, pag-ibig are selling them at a very lower price. So you can check actually their website to see the the properties available na foreclosed properties. You can sell them at a higher price but after nyo siya ipa-renovate. So, for example, this does not only apply with foreclosed properties, but also, if meron kayong kakilala or meron kayong nakita na nagbebenta ng property na super mura or naka-rush sale, then you see na pwede nyo magawa ng paraan para mabenta ng mas mahal yung property. It's either iparent ninyo or ibenta nyo ng mas higher price kasi if napaayos niyo siya, you can still sell that, let's say, at 1.2 million. Depende din talaga sa location. Number five is real estate crowdfunding. So, pwede kayong mag-participate sa mga real estate crowdfunding platforms. This allows investors to pull their capital to fund real estate projects such as property development, renovations, or acquisitions. Real estate crowdfundings provide access to investment opportunities with lower capital requirements and allows investors to diversify across different properties and markets. So if konti lang ang capital nyo and it's not enough to buy a property, then you don't have to worry kasi pwede kayong mag-invest sa mga real estate crowdfunding platforms and it will allow you to diversify as I mentioned in my previous video. It's always best to diversify your investments to avoid or to lessen the risks. So, yun lang. Sana nag-enjoy kayo. If meron kayo mga suggestions na gusto nyo pag-usapan natin, then please don't forget to comment in the comment section down below. And also, please don't forget to visit www.game8.cc if gusto nyo maging affiliate to earn extra income. Just go message our chat support to ask for the requirements and to see ko ano yung process para maging affiliate. So yun lang. Please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe Game A Philippines. Bye!